How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and if you guys saw yesterday's video you guys saw that we installed new drag springs and new brakes on the Mustang. If you haven't seen that video you might want to check it out after this one. We got some really good upgrades on that and after we did that the car was just hooking and booking from second gear. So in order to go and actually get some results and test it why not take it out to Mexico? So today we are going to be taking the Mustang out to Mexico tonight. I'm going to try to see if we can get some cars that I haven't raced yet. I believe we can get like a 900 plus horsepower power Hellcat, a single turbo 335i, Lambo, GT500, some other stuff like that. So we'll have to see. First things first, I do want to get the car cleaned. Since we were working on it and everything, all my fingerprints are all over it. So I really do just want to go ahead and give it a quick little wash and kind of clay it because the paint isn't feeling like the best. It ain't feeling the smoothest. So we'll go ahead and we'll take care of that. And then I have something I want to show you guys that you guys might be interested in. First things first, let's give it a wash. All right, got the car all nice and shiny. Went ahead and even did a little clay bar with some ceramic on top. So it looks real nice right now. But if you're like me, you hate when your car doesn't stay looking nice. Especially depending where you live, sometimes you wash your car and within the same hour, it's already covered in dust. And that is super annoying. So really quickly, I just wanna show you guys what I do to keep my cars looking great. And that is putting an outdoor car cover on it. Not a cheap universal fit one from AutoZone that is baggy and doesn't fit your car. I'm talking about a high quality premium car cover that will keep your car looking good for days on end. Thanks to California Car Cover Company. It's the same brand I use on my McLaren. It's actually inside right now. I gotta wash the car before I put it on. But when it's on and I take it off, the car just looks like I just got done washing it. They have different types of car covers for indoor, outdoor, extreme sun, all these different types. You guys can browse them on the website. I will link it down below but if you want to protect your car's paint and not have it get cooked in the sun and just have nasty paint fade or you just want to wash your car less then pick up a car cover link in the description down below this is their outdoor cover since my Mustang is primarily parked outside this is perfect for me let me toss it on the vehicle and show you what it looks like their car covers are tailored to fit your exact year make and model so on this Mustang you can see it fits every panel perfectly every seam is stitched to the actual car's shape helping it keep a nice tight fit to keep out as much dust as possible not only will my car stay clean longer but it'll also protect the paint so it's a no-brainer for me pick up your own link in description down below let's go out to the races all right so we just pulled up we are the first ones here we're waiting for the lambo the gt500 the corvette um, some other cars 335i it's just me and the man himself no lift shift <laughs> Uh, we got the 360 camera all mounted up. Dude, these tires, the springs, the brakes, everything about the car so far feels great. Um, as you guys saw earlier, we threw in weights in the back. So we got about 70-ish pounds in there. Feels great. Um, we're gonna go out to Mexico, see how it does. I'm honestly super pumped because I've just been driving the McLaren nonstop because this thing just has had nonstop traction issues, but I think we resolved them. And this is only the beginning. We're still gonna do the Watts link and the torque arm, but that's gonna come at a later date. I don't feel like spending a lot of money right now unless No Lift Shift here wants to sponsor me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me, let me, let me have the, right? Yeah, so, um, but yeah, we're waiting here. Um, when the cars pull up, we'll record them, see what they, see what they look like, and then um, we'll go out and have some fun. It's all just for fun, nothing too serious, um, but we shall see how the Mustang performs. All right, everyone else pulled up. I'll do a quick lap before we head out. Everyone's ready to go. Um, this is going to be, I think, the best race of the night. This Hellcat is pushing around the same power as me. I don't know if he wants me to tell his number, so I'll just say it's around the same number, so it should be a good run. We have a single turbo 335i. He was actually at one of the meets in my previous video. Uh, started chatting with him on Instagram cool guy so we're gonna see how his card hangs bone stock GT 500 I'm not sure what's done to this Hellcat then we have my car and a full bolt-on with spray but I don't think he's spraying tonight Camaro SS another Camaro SS no lift shift of course and then we have an R1 and Mark's Performante so we got some pretty cool cars tonight we'll see how it goes Hopefully my traction stays hooking. Uh, no lift shift should have no problem with traction. But we'll see. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's go.
right guys first batch of runs are done mustang held up pretty good we didn't break anything thankfully but i do feel the clutch slipping when i go into fourth you could probably hear it on camera i'll try to throw in a clip if i heard it in editing but when i throw it into fourth it just kind of you know just wings out and um i you could smell it afterwards so it's not as bad as before but i might need to throw an action clutch in there and see how that does um the second gear rolls were pretty good at the beginning i don't know if it's the freeway or, or what but once we got towards um further into mexico it just wasn't really hooking that well so i ended up doing 60 rolls again so it was hooking from 60 100 and they're a lot easier to do because it's a lot less shifting obviously um but at the same time second gear just fucking wow it's just so much more fun so i didn't get a chance i don't think i raced him i did race him pretty good run i think are there frogs I hear frogs over there. Anyways, pretty good run against the 335i. Um, the Supra and that would be a very fun run, I think. It would be a very fun run. And in fact, when I get it back, maybe we can get him back out here. I don't think I ran this Hellcat at all. I didn't run the Kia. Um, I didn't run... I might have ran... No, this is Brian, sorry. I don't know if I ran any of the Camaros either. But the red Hellcat was one mean beast. Like, that thing fucking is quick. The sounds crazy, just ridiculous. So... Um, hopefully on the way back we can get a run in with the r1 right here i think that would be a fun run i haven't raced a leader bike in quite some time so i'm curious how the r1 holds up compared to the aprilia but the hellcat oh other camera just pulled up he seemed pretty quick too he, him and the hellcat were playing around and they seemed pretty damn close but this hellcat is a fucking monster like just a monster i know we got a couple runs in with the hellcat on one of them i tried to like just catch up and get a run in with him in the lambo so i wasn't quite neck and neck with him but the first run was a really solid run and uh, he actually had to pull over because i think his cutout messed up but at the end of the day very fast cars still just both ridiculously quick and i mean this this has to be one of the fastest hellcats i've ever raced guys that was a lot of fun i've driven this car a thousand times and i have never had more fun driving this car than right now i am so happy with how far the car has come like throwing a lot of horsepower at a car is one thing but you need it to be functional you need to be able to hook and brake and do everything else that a car should do and that's one thing that i love about my mclaren so much is because from the factory it can do all that you can throw horsepower at it and it has the brakes to make up for it the mustang is a different story i doubt when ford was designing that car that they were like oh some kid's gonna throw like you know 900 plus horsepower at this car and call it a day stock brakes we're not holding up the aerospace components brakes are fucking mint i want to do the rears because then once i do the braking power is just going to be phenomenal that being said i don't think the car would have performed as well as it did right now if i didn't have the cobra jet springs if i didn't have the brakes if i didn't have the tires and that's only the beginning. Once we do the torque arm and the watch slink, it's going to be a game changer. And then we can determine if we want to turn up the power a bit. No point in making more power if you can't hook. Right now, 
seems pretty solid but the torque arm is going to be a game changer i'm telling you guys you guys are going to see and you guys are just going to be amazed i'm going to be amazed it's going to be unbeatable anyways guys so that is going to do it for this video hopefully you did enjoy it if you did please let me know down below really fun night crazy fast cars went out tonight the bike the hellcat both hellcats i mean just really fun cars overall great time with my buddies and it's also great meeting new people thank you to anyone who came that was super fun anyways guys subscribe to see more videos like this one and until the next video peace